Tottenham's new striker is set to be announced. Is it Dominic Solanke or is it Ivan Tony? We've also got the latest transfer update with regards to Pedro Neto. As for Brice Romano, he expects Tottenham to be extremely busy in the last few weeks of the transfer window. If you haven't already and you enjoy this content, please go down, hit that subscribe button. We are less than 40 subscribers now from 18,000. The road to 20,000 is well and truly on. So if you enjoy this, go down, hit that subscribe button and make sure you drop a like. If we get it 500 likes, that'd be absolutely glorious. Really helps me out. Now, Tottenham this window have been linked to a number of strikers. Victor Jokirez, Luizo Penda, Jonathan David, Ivan Tony, Dominic Solanke, this player, that player, Santiago Jimenez. We've been linked to tons of strikers. Now, the shortlist has been cut down to just two. Now, they're both good strikers in their own way. They're both homegrown. And that is Dominic Solanke or Ivan Tony. Now, Fabrizio Romano, he gave us a transfer update a few days ago saying that Tottenham are pushing to sign Dominic Solanke. And Dominic Solanke has given the green light to join Tottenham. He's come out and said he wants to prove himself again at a big club. Of course, he had that move to Liverpool all those years ago, and it never really worked out for him since playing at Bournemouth. He's had a very good Premier League season last year, getting 19 league goals. And he also had a very good season while they were in the championship, similar to Ivan Tony. He had a very good season two years ago, destroying the league. And he had a very good season with Brentford in the championships. They've both got something in common. But what I want to know is, and what I'm going to explain, in my opinion, I personally believe Ivan Tony is a better fit for Tottenham. The way we play, he presses from the front. I think he's a better finisher. But I'm going to caveat that by saying I wouldn't mind Dominic Solanke at Tottenham because he's also a good striker. They're both very, very good in and around the six-yard box, something that Richarlison lacks. Richarlison does not have that clinical edge, that killer instinct in and around the six and 18-yard box. And I personally believe that Dominic Solanke and Ivan Tony would be a far better option up front than a Richarlison. Now, Fabrizio Romano said yesterday that Tottenham were pushing for um, Dominic Solanke. And it has come out today from Ben Jacobs um, that we have now got concrete interest for Ivan Tony. For me personally, it, 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 it's, it's, they're two very, very, very good strikers, right? And they're both going to improve Tottenham. But I just think Ivan Tony has that little bit of X factor in his locker. I think he's got a little bit more flair. His penalty record is, is absolutely sublime. We saw that at the at the Euros with England. Now, the last word on Spurs have come out and said, Justin, Tottenham Hotspur have now got concrete interest in striker Ivan Tony. There has been no bid or movement for Bournemouth forward Dominic Solanke signing as of now. Now, various different reporters have come out and said, Ivan Tony would be available for around £40 million. Whereas Dominic Solanke, Bournemouth are holding out for a 60 to £65 million pound deal. Now, one thing that's very interesting about both these strikers is Bournemouth don't really need to sell Dominic Solanke. He's their star player. He's their prize asset. They are in no position to sell Dominic Solanke. He's got three years left in his contract. He only signed a new contract extension September of last year. Whereas Ivan Tony has vocally come out on a number of occasions and said he wants to move away from Brentford. He only has one year left in his contract. So a lot more of the, of the power and the wiggle room in terms of negotiating an exit is, is in Ivan Tony's camp. He's got, he's got a lot more power with regards to a transfer negotiation compared to a Dominic Solanke. Now, according to reports, Dominic Solanke has come out and he has given the green light to join Tottenham. He wants to move. Like I said, he wants to prove himself again. Do I personally believe Dominic Solanke would, would be a, a very good striker for Tottenham? Absolutely. Do I believe Ivan Tony would? Yes. But there is a big difference in price. Dominic Solanke is around £65 million, £60 million to 65 whereas Ivan Tony is reportedly around £40 million. 
Now, I'm going to bring up Tottenham's lineup, which I personally believe we could play first game of the season. Now, this, for me, gets Tottenham in and around those Champions League positions. Aston Villa today have been linked to the likes of Gertruda, and they've had a very, very good transfer window so far, bringing in Onana, bringing in a few very, very good players. Fabrizio Romano has also come out and said that we are in for a forward. Tottenham ITKs have basically said that forward they believe is Pedro Neto. If you put Pedro Neto and Ivan Tony in this Tottenham team, that is two very, very, very good signings, um, in my opinion. I think those are the sort of signings that take Tottenham to in and around those Champions League positions. That one domino, which could be a domino in this transfer triangle, is Richarlison. Richarlison's wanted by a lot of Saudi Arabian clubs. A lot of Saudi Arabian clubs seem to be interested in him. So what does that necessarily mean for, for Tottenham? Only having one striker next season for me is a, a little bit of a risk considering we are, well, it's not a little bit, it's a huge risk um, knowing that the fact that we are in four competitions, we're going to be in and around the Europa League. We're going to be in both domestic competitions, FA Cup and League Cup. We kind of need Richarlison to, to, to stick around. Like we 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 kind of do. Like I, I don't know what you guys you guys think. Um, let me know down below. But in terms of Tottenham's lineup, how are we going to line up? What's going to be our strengths? How are Tottenham going to uh, play with the likes of Pedro Neto? I personally believe Pedro Neto is a massive, massive, massive upgrade on on Tottenham's wide players. I think in the the final third, he's excellent. He's very direct. He's very creative. He can take players on. He can get down to the byline. He's, his end product is very, very good. But we've spoken about this a lot on the main channel, which get over to there, Henry Wright TV. We've spoken about this a lot. And we've also mentioned that his injury record is very, 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 very concerning. It's very, very concerning. He only played 20 league games last season where, you know, We've spoken about him joining Arsenal, potentially joining Liverpool, and they can kind of take more of a risk because they've already got an out-and-out world-class player on that right-hand side in Bakaya Saka and Mohamed Salah. So in the 25 league games he'd probably play, he can also give rest to those players where we don't really have anyone in our front line other than Human Son, but he's on the left-hand side, who can come in and, and, and really make a, um, a huge impact to Tottenham now, in terms of our forward options, I think we've got good right wingers. I think we've got the likes of Dejan Kulisevsky. I think he's a good player. I also think uh, Johnson's a good player. But these two signings for me take Tottenham. I I'm gonna I'm gonna show by starting off by saying this is what I think the 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 lineup would look like um, if it's of course if it's um, Tony in, and then we're gonna show what it would look like. If it's, of course, Ivan Tony. Now, obviously, this is the way Tottenham kind of play over high line. Um, I think Basuma will probably play in the six, Saar in the eight, Madison, of course, in the 10, and then, of course, Ivan Tony up front. That team for me is strong enough to get Champions League. Strong enough to get Champions League. You've got energy in the midfield of Saar and Basuma. We still are lack lacking an out and out number six. You've got the creative spark of James Madison. Pedro Neto on the right, Human Son on the left. And then, of course, you got squad depth of the likes of Brennan Johnson, Timo Werner, Dejan Kulisevsky, midfield. You've got Bergvall, Archie Gray, Benton Core, Giovanni Lacelso, defensive options. You've got Radu Dragusin, who had a good Euros. You've got Ben Davis. You've got uh, Emerson Royale at right back, which looks like he's going to stay now. For me, that team is a very, very, very uh, strong 11. It's just going to be interesting to see how we rotate with the likes of um, Europa League and in and around the Champions League. Do let me know your thoughts down below. I'll be very, very intrigued to hear because I look at that team right now. I think that's there's a lot of positives in and around that team, in my in my opinion. I think I think Tottenham looking at that right now, I think that's a good eleven. And then if you throw in Dominic Solanke. And you could potentially throw in Archie Gray. 
You know, it, we, we, we've got options all of a sudden. You know, we, we, we've got options. I think Archie Gray is going to get a lot of uh, football going into next season. Um, you know, he's 18 years of age. We, we, we're not going to pay around £45 million pounds for a guy that, when, when the add-ons, I think, happen, I think it's £40 million pounds for a guy that's not going to be in and around the the first 11. And this is what the team could look like with Dominic Solanke and Archie Gray, of course, in it. I think that's, I think that's very, very strong. Pedro Neto is a player that we're incredibly interested in. Fabrizio Romano has come out a number of times and said that Tottenham are very much trying to strengthen the, the forward line. And Ange Postacoglu is obsessed with the fact that Tottenham could sign a striker. Now, in terms of the ins and outs of Fabrizio Romano's uh, transfer update, I think for the club, financially, it's probably more bene beneficial to sign Ivan Tony, but Dominic Solanke is younger, around 18 months younger, probably has more um, room in the tank. Ivan Tony, I think, has at least got a number of years left, but Fabrizio Romano suggested Tottenham Hotspur are expecting a busy end to the transfer window with potentially an extra signing expected in attack alongside Dominic Solanke. And people are saying that extra signing is going to be the likes of Pedro Neto. I think the main focus is going to be up front. They need one more uh, offensive player, at least one. Now, it's going to be very, very interesting, guys. It's going to be very, 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 very interesting to see how we, how we get on with this remainder of the window the premier league season starts in eight days eight days until the premier league season starts just eight days it's going to be very 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 interesting it's going to be very interesting indeed let me know your thoughts down below make sure you've liked make sure you have subscribed the road to 20k is well and truly on i'll see you on the next one thank you for watching guys i am